In a land where the moonlight danced on the silver waters of a grand lake, there was a hidden kingdom known only to those with the purest of hearts. This kingdom, called Lumina, was a place of wonder where the trees glowed softly, and the flowers sang lullabies to the stars. Its ruler was Queen Serafina, a kind and wise queen who possessed a magical moonstone that kept the kingdom bathed in eternal twilight. The kingdom's peace was threatened when the moonstone, which had been safeguarded for centuries, began to dim. The once brilliant light now flickered weakly. Queen Serafina, worried about the kingdom's future, summoned her most trusted advisor, a wise old owl named Orin. Orin, the queen said, the moonstone's light is fading, and with it, the magic of Lumina is weakening. We must find the source of the problem before it's too late. Orin, with his deep knowledge of ancient lore, explained that the only way to restore the moonstone's power was to find the lost starlight crystal, which had been hidden long ago to protect it from dark forces. To find the crystal, they would need to follow three clues left by the kingdom's founders. Queen Serafina decided to seek the help of the bravest and kindest person she knew, a young girl named Arya who lived on the edge of the forest. Arya had always shown a deep love for the natural world and had an adventurous spirit. Arya agreed to help and set out on her quest with Orin guiding her. The first clue was hidden in the whispering woods, where the trees were said to hold secrets in their rustling leaves. The whispering woods and the whispering woods, the trees whispered directions and riddles. Arya listened carefully to the rustling leaves and followed the path they revealed. She soon came upon an ancient tree with a hollow trunk. Inside the trunk, she found an old parchment with a riddle, asterisk, in the valley where shadows fall, seek the light that never dies. Only then will you find the way to the crystal's hidden guise. Asterisk Arya and Orin interpreted the riddle to mean that they needed to go to a valley where a perpetual shadow was cast by an eternal mountain. The Valley of Eternal Shadows They traveled to the Valley of Eternal Shadows, where the towering mountain cast a permanent shade. At the valley's heart was a small, hidden cave. Inside, they discovered a glowing orb resting on a pedestal. The orb was known as the Eternal Light, and it provided them with the next clue, asterisk, when the moon's tears are seen, find the mirror that reflects the unseen. There lies the path to the crystal, hidden where dreams are woven. Asterisk the mirror of dreams following the clue, Arya and Orin journeyed to the Dreamweaver's Glen, a place known for its magical mirrors that could reflect not just appearances but also hidden truths. They searched among the mirrors and found one that showed a vision of a moonlit lake, where the starlight crystal was said to be hidden. The vision guided them to a tranquil lake, with the moonlight casting an enchanting glow over the water. At the lake's center was a small island, and on it stood a solitary, ancient pedestal. As Arya and Orin approached the pedestal, they saw the starlight crystal resting upon it, glowing softly but not as brightly as it should. They realized that the crystal's light needed to be rekindled by the moonstone's power. Arya took out the moonstone from her pouch and held it up. The crystal's light and the moonstone's light began to intertwine, merging and growing brighter. The lake shimmered with renewed magic, and the kingdom of Lumina began to glow once more. Returned to Lumina with the starlight crystal restored, Arya and Orin returned to Lumina. Queen Serafina welcomed them with immense gratitude. She placed the crystal beside the moonstone, and its light became radiant again, filling the kingdom with a warm, magical glow. The kingdom's magic was revitalized, and the once fading moonstone now shone brighter than ever. The trees, flowers, and waters of Lumina sparkled with renewed life. The kingdom celebrated Arya's bravery and kindness, and she was honored as a hero of Lumina. Arya returned to her home with a heart full of joy and the knowledge that even the smallest light can make a great difference. The story of her quest became a cherished tale in Lumina, a reminder of the power of courage, friendship, and the magic that can be found in every heart. And so, under the shimmering light of the moon and the starlight crystal, Lumina continued to thrive, its magic and beauty preserved for generations to come. The end.